Uh oh. The 80's back up on the jack. Front right tyre's off. What's gone wrong? Well, let me explain. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, Sunday the 30th of December 2018 and the 80 series is off the road again, as you can see there I've got the front right tyre off the rotor, I've got a problem with the brakes, still, but before we get into this video though, you know the rules, I know you hate me saying this, but if I don't say it, I get into a world of trouble, so here we go, I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. Yesterday, while um, bedding in the new pads, there's a lot of noise coming from this front right rotor. Now, it's not the same noise. It's a grinding noise with the pads. Possibilities are, I've got a stone or a couple of stones stuck in there. You can see here, right along there and there, that it's grinding. So something is stuck. Um, I'm going to have to try and release, release the pistons in the calipers to see whether or not I've picked up a bit of stone or whether or not uh, a small stone has got stuck in the center groove. Wow. We're gonna get a thunderstorm here this morning. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is um, try and push the pistons back into the caliper for a bit. Now the problem there is obviously I've got a Repump the brakes up. Um, the left side has bedded in perfectly, but there's still a problem on this right hand side. But it's it's a brake problem rather than loose bearing or clunking noises. It only occurs when I put the brakes on. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a sticky beak at what's going on and try and see if I can't solve the problem because I need the car this morning. So I'll now um, take the um pins out and everything and i'll see what happens all righty well i've got the pads out and we've got a bit of a problem with the caliper that's not supposed to do that um let me show you what's happened well you'll be able to see it but if i go right over the back here somewhere where is it um, hang on. Uh, it's down here somewhere. Okay, so let me see my finger and then I can show you where the problem is. Ah, there it is. See that hole? There's supposed to be a bolt there for the caliper. Now the good news is the caliper's not damaged, but I dropped a bolt out of it, so I've got to go and get another caliper bolt. For it, so I've got to take the bolt out of this, out of the top of the caliper, and uh, see what I can do. All right, so I've taken the top bolt from the caliper, the one that was still in the caliper. That's the one I've got to go and get with the associated washer. Um, I've got the caliper sitting there, but uh, that's what's happened. It's actually the, lost the bolt. And the bolt that I've lost is actually that one there. So you've got this mount here, and I've lost the bolt for that mount. Now, luckily, they're both the same. So uh, what I'll do is um, get another bolt, and I'll probably get some thread lock glue as well. Hopefully, I can get it today. Um from an auto store or something and uh, 
try and put this thing back on the road today. Talk about a pain. Anyway, we'll see how we go. All right, so I have been all over the place today and this is the best solution I could come up with. All right. Um, these are high tensile bolts. Now, if you know your four wheel drive or any of your vehicles, you'll know your thread pitch for your caliper bolts, all right, as well as your diameter for your caliper bolts. You have to make sure you get it right. You cannot be anything off, all right? So I know my thread pitch, all right, for my caliper bolts. Um, and if you have a Land Cruiser, you'll know what it is. I don't know about the Patrol's thread pitch and length for their calipers, but basically um, the thread pitch and diameter for the FZJ80 Land Cruiser, these match perfectly. The problem is the length. This is how long it's got to be. This is the replacement. So what we're going to do is cut it off. Okay, so I'm going to use a vise to line all this up with along with the nut. Cut it off at the right uh, length, if not maybe even just a smidge shorter. I've got to go and get a couple of washers as well. Okay. And uh, some Loctite. All right. And then you want to make sure you tighten them up. You don't want to over tighten them, but you need to make sure they are snug so they don't pop out. All right. Unlike what's happened to old mate. So I, the, I know my thread pitch. If you've got a Land Cruiser, you'll know the thread pitch of you, your caliper mounting bolts. Um, I'm not sure whether it's the same for the Patrol. I can't answer that question. So my Nissan Patrol viewers, if you've got a Patrol and people are watching this, you may want to let them know what the thread pitch is and the diameter for the um, calipers. So what I'm going to do, it's a bit too hot to do any more at the moment. I'm going to do it later this afternoon. So cut the top of the bolt off, deburr where we've cut the bolt, make sure it's clean. And then, uh, as I said, we'll get some Loctite in there as well to make sure they don't come out. Now, let me just say one other thing. Okay. I bought two of them. I'm not just going to replace one i'm replacing both and hanging on to this one as a spare all right now i don't know some people will agree some people will disagree with this but my view is it's pointless replacing just one bolt if you're going to have to replace one bolt you may as well replace both bolts all right um so i bought two of these okay so that I can replace both bolts. That means I can hang on to this one here as a spare in case one of the bolts comes out on this. Now, in saying that, what it also means is I will actually replace all the bolts on my calipers with the same bolts. So I've got four brand new bolts in both calipers, all right? I had these ones replaced about 12 months ago when I had a similar problem happen on the left caliper and both bolts were, were replaced. Now I'm about to replace both bolts on the right caliper, but I want to make sure that I've got four brand new bolts in it rather than just two. So I will be buying two more bolts um, to replace it with. All right, that way I have four new bolts on both calipers. Now, you can agree or disagree with that, but that's the way I'm going to do it, all right? I presume most people probably say I'm ridiculously insane, but at least then I know I have four of the same bolts in my calipers. You've got to be safe. You're talking about your braking system, right? Three tonne of Land Cruiser. You've got to make sure your braking system is rock solid and can pull up the car. Now, like I said, if you know your Land Cruisers, you know your thread pitch, you know your diameter, so I'm not going to explain it. You should know it, all right? Same if you're a patrol driver, a Hilux driver, whatever you drive, you should know by default your caliper mounting bolts. Um, I do. I know exactly what I needed, all right? I went in. I've been to about five or six different places here today none of them could get it i managed to get it at one place i walked in i said exactly what i needed they had the right thread pitch the right diameter but not the right length and they wouldn't have had the right length in for over a week that's useless to me so they had this length in 
Um, so as I said, we'll cut it off, we'll deburr it, make it all nice and smooth. That way it's not going to get stuck in the mounting bracket. And uh, hopefully I'll have this back on the road by the end of today. There we go. We'll keep going. All right. So bolts cut. There's one. I'll just be able to see the other one down there somewhere. There it is there. Pads refitted properly. So now what I'm going to do is straighten the wheel back up, put the tyres back on and go for a spin. Okay. So, car's off jack. Again, I know some people would like to see this thing permanently up on car stands, but stuff ya, not gonna happen. So, all done, Re redone that side. Check the left side, left side's perfectly fine. So now what I'm gonna do is go for a spin. Righto, well, done. And no grinding. No nasty burning smells. Nothing. Mind you, engine's hot. But it works. So I have fixed the brakes. So the next thing that's got to be done around here, which uh, is interesting, is that one. This is the next thing I've got to work on. This is uh, the other half's father's 2003 Toyota Hilux direct injection turbo diesel not common rail but uh, he had a little bit of a problem actually it's not a little bit of a problem it's a uh, an annoying problem I think it's fair enough to say that his car radio aerial is completely and utterly dead set stuffed however Old mate, who, as you know, does the way he does, set this car up better than he set his own car up. Only problem is now is I've got to pull the whole thing apart. That's a job for later this week. But the brakes are done on my car, so I'm happy. Have a good one all. Cheers.